Be in Puppycat, Lazy in Space, or Be in Puppycat, as it is called on Netflix, is a series created by Natasha Allegri, and I love it. I absolutely love this show with everything in my heart and then some. It is so charming and magical and fun and comforting and relaxing. It's it's my comfort show. It really is. I've watched the show 10 plus times ever since it was released in September of last year. And I don't see myself stopping. I love this show. I really do. Before I get more into this review or my thoughts on, I don't know what I'll call this yet, I'll discuss the elephant in the room, that being the first three episodes on Netflix. So, Being Puppycat is comprised of 16 episodes on Netflix, but only 13 of them are labeled Being Puppycat Lazy in Space, which is the season two, basically, of Being Puppycat on YouTube. So, the first three episodes are a retelling and a recap and a reimagining of the pilot and the first 10 episodes, the only 10 episodes on YouTube, being Puppycat. And although it doesn't do anything inherently bad, I just prefer the original series because they're little bite-sized adventures, little small bite-sized episodes that don't take up a lot of time because it's only an hour. And these first three episodes are maybe just over an hour, an hour and 10 minutes or so, but it's still being a public at, at the end of the day. It's fun, it's enjoyable, it's charming, and it's comforting. And these first three episodes add a little bit more context to the plot of the show. So if you're just picking it up on Netflix, it's perfectly fine. You're not going to feel lost or anything if you just start with Lazy in Space. Those first three episodes are there just introduce you to the show. Although the style of it is just a tad different from what Lazy in Space is. That being the art style and some of the humor. And a lot of people were complaining like, oh... What the hell is this on, on Reddit? I follow the Being Puppy Cat subreddit on Reddit. But once you get past those three episodes, you are met with Being Puppy Cat Lazy in Space, which there really isn't like a big overarching plot. It's just Being Puppy Cat doing temp work in space so they can make money and pay their rent. All the while, their child landlord, Cardamon, is dealing with his mom who is asleep in a coma and she is crying these blobs of tears and he doesn't know what to do with them. And also, we're focusing more so on the wizard family, Deckard's family from Deckard, the character from Being Puppy Cat. He's in cooking school, and him and B text a lot, and they catch up with each other just by texting and showing funny pictures and yada, yada, yada. But we focus more so on the family a lot. We see dumb little adventures that they go on, and it's really cute and charming, and all those characters have very distinct personalities. They're not just oh, this character, but he's a doctor, or this character, but he's a mechanic. No, they all have different personalities. They're quirky, they're funny, and they're just distinct from each other. And I like all these dumb little adventures they go on. Let's talk about the animation. I think the animation is great in this show. I like the characters having these bigger models sometimes. I like when they're you know, a little crunched down too, just for those small comedic moments if they're like yelling at each other. But I like the character designs. I like when they're, you know, larger scale characters. And I like the environments that they go around. I love seeing this little island they live on. I love seeing the planets and the color palettes that those planets have when B and Puppy Cat do their temp work in space. And I love all the outfits that B has when she goes to all these different jobs. And I love what they do with their hair. She has big, big hair. And I love when they put it in buns or put it in like a cone sort of deal. It's just really cute. And I love seeing all the different outfits she wears. It's fun. I want to get back to the plot for a little bit because there are new things that answer some questions from the original series that I never thought would have been answered, like stuff about Puppy Cat's past. We get a few large chunks dedicated to his past, and it's really fun and really cool to see. And it really brings up more questions that I want to answer because I want a season three, or in this case, a season two on Netflix. I just want to see more because I love the show. I really do. The music. I love the music in this show it is so comforting and charming and soft and it could be exciting it could be fun it's just really really damn enjoyable if i could if it was like actually released i would listen to it non-stop at home it's so damn charming and comforting and it fits the tone perfectly of the show you have some small little fun moments in the music then you have like these beautiful, really long and soft songs that amplify the tone, that being comforting, charming, fun, whimsical. More often than not, I find myself humming the music when I'm at work and whatnot. It's just so infectious. Like 
I'll just be doing something at work and then all of a sudden, oh damn, it's in my head. Now I'm gonna keep humming it because it's so damn charming and enjoyable. I think the best word I can use to describe the music is cute. It's really cute and it fits the tone perfectly. Charming, comforting, and laid back. These are half hour long episodes, whereas the original Being Puppy Cat series, the episodes are about six minutes long or so, four, six, eight minutes long. So I just find it comforting that there's a lot of scenes of just characters not doing much. They're just taking in the environment that they're in or they're just having fun or sequences get drawn out for a while, not drawn out as in it's taking a really long time to get onto the next thing. We're taking too long on this. No, it's drawn out as in it's able to relish in itself and have fun. I don't know what else I can say aside from the fact that I love this show. I really do. I was waiting so long for this show to come out this season because back in 2019, my first video on this YouTube account was uploaded, that being my thoughts on being Puppycat. And I said, I'm excited for being Puppycat Lazy in Space to release later that year, to which it wasn't. Uh, they had some issues with the episodes being leaked and them not finding a service platform to put it out on. And then Netflix said, hey, we'll stream it, but we had to wait like two years after they announced that to actually see the damn show. I was so excited when they announced Hey, it's coming out this day. I was stoked. I I was happy. I, I really was. I fucking love this show. It's my comfort show. Uh, I've watched it 10 times. I showed it to my little sisters over the winter break. And they love it. And we rewatched it a lot. And then we made puppy cat shaped cookies because we thought it would be fun. And then I got a being puppy cat poster that I absolutely love. I just, I love this show. I really do. I just find so much charm and enjoyment in this um i don't think i'll ever stop loving or watching the show and i'm excited to see what's going to come next i'm going to give being puppy cat lazy in space an a minus uh, it's just it's charming it's enjoyable i really 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 dig it i just wish there were more episodes or certain things were explained a little bit more like there's a plot line involving these characters trying to kidnap puppy cat and it explains the arms that come out of the black hole at the end of being puppy cat uh the series on youtube at least but i just wish there was more of that more explanation of it but this really isn't a plot heavy driven show it's a hey let's just chillax for a little bit you know it's that kind of show and it's fun and it's enjoyable and it's charming it's cute it's endearing it's infectiously charming i love it I really do. So tell me what you thought about being puppy cat lazy in space. Have you seen it on Netflix? Have you seen the original series? Tell me what you thought about it in the comments below and I'll be back with more enjoyable content like this. So um, yeah, bye.